In this video, we are going to discuss about processor management. You need to understand that processor is the most important part of any computer. Processor is the brain of the computer. It does all the important and the unimportant functions that are carried out by the computer. It is also the most expensive resource of the computer. So it has to be seen that the processor is utilized properly. Optimum use is made of this resource and who will do that? The operating system. Managing the processor basically involves job scheduling. What is the function of the processor? Carrying out the different tasks. Now there are multiple tasks that are lying to be done by the processor. The operating system sees to it that how these jobs have to be scheduled so that the important ones get done first but it is not that just because a job is unimportant it has to keep waiting for a long time. So how that is to be done? There is maximum utilization of CPU that has to be ensured while doing the scheduling. The turn around time that is the time required to complete each task has to be minimum. Waiting time is also minimum. A task which is maybe not of the highest priority should not keep waiting for say long period of time. Each job should get the fastest possible response time. So response time is very important. Maximum throughput is achieved. So now what is the throughput? Throughput is the average time taken to complete each task. So if you are completing one task very quickly but you are relegating another task to the corner so that it takes a long time so the average response time will decrease and so the throughput will also decrease. It's the job of the operating system to see to it that the throughput is also maintained. So how this job scheduling is done? It is done in two ways preemptive and non-preemptive. What is preemptive scheduling? In preemptive scheduling, the operating system can decide on the previous job or the next job before the previous job is done. Not so in non-preemptive. In non-preemptive scheduling, the operating system will have to wait till the current job is finished and then only it can decide about the next job. These are the ways in which preemptive scheduling is done. Round robin and response ratio. Non-preemptive. First come, first serve, shortest job next and deadline. Let's see these in details. In the round robin scheduling, what is done? That the processor time is divided into small, small time slices. Each time slice is defined and the programs that are waiting to be executed wait till they get their own time slice. Now, all programs get equal opportunity. The job one has got one time slice. It will execute till the time slice is available. Only then the job two will come. But that creates a problem. If the time slice is of say two microseconds and the work gets finished in one microsecond itself, for the rest one microsecond, the CPU will remain idle. So next is response ratio scheduling. What this means? A response ratio as we discussed earlier is elapsed time by execution time. So the job with the shorter response time gets a priority. If some job can be finished quickly then that job will be done first and if some job will take lo longer time then that will be done later. It improves CPU throughput as we discussed just now that maintaining the throughput is also very important. So these are the two types of preemptive scheduling. Let's now move on to non-preemptive scheduling. Let me remind you that in non-preemptive scheduling, the operating system has to wait till the current job is over and then look for the next job that has to be done. Now, this means that the job can never be interrupted. In preemptive, a job can be interrupted if a higher priority job is come on the line. There are three ways of doing this. First come first serve scheduling. The simplest. I have sent a request first so my job will be done first. If someone else, any other user or I, also, I myself have done another job which is later then obviously that the second job will be done later. Shortest job next scheduling. Again 
the shortest job that means the job that will take the shortest amount of time will be scheduled first and last but not the least deadline scheduling i think this is something all of us are very used to in our life also a job whose deadline is looming large if i have to finish a job in say next one hour itself then i'll do that first because the deadline is today itself and if some job has to be done say two days later i'll just forget about it till that deadline comes so the computer or the operating system does the same the job with the earliest deadline is scheduled for the execution time so in this video we have understood how the operating system schedules job so that it can manage the computer processor optimally in the next video we are going to discuss about memory management